How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're doing analysis on two currency pairs again. It's going to be the British pound, Japanese yen, and then the US or the British pound, US dollar. Um, before we hit the charts, go visit my website. It's on the bottom left corner over here. We, um, I'll put the link in the description as well. We will find previous analysis, previous strategies um, for those of you that's getting started in your trading career. There's some nice video categories there that will help you along the way. Also, um, CUT reports. We use the CUT reports to do our analysis, top-down analysis. So you can download the CUT reports for free under the resource tab. So let us hit the charts. We're starting off with the British pound, Japanese yen, doing top-down analysis, starting from the daily, moving down to our hourly time frame. Now, on the daily time frame, on the British pound, Japanese yen, what we can see is... Um, let me just do this we can see that the low has been broken in the british pound japanese yen so we see that low being broken price closing just below it so now we're going to wait and see if price continues downwards or will price retrace all the way back because it's a nice bearish movement and a lot of times when there's nice bearish movement we need or we want to see a nice retracement going down going back before any continuation downwards all price is just going to stay in this range in fact but we will have to look and see what's going to happen this coming week on the four hour time frame let's just pull out the four hour time frame and again just highlighting out this area in the market that was been broken this is the um there we go that's also another low that's been taking out okay so with that low being taken out you can see price continuing downwards hourly time frame let's have a look at what happened there this week so um like i said before at the end of every analysis i do for currency pay i highlight two areas in the market the high and the low just to see what price is going to be doing in that area and then react to price when um when it breaks or whatever so we could see a nice little setup that we could have taken a nice little buy and I've always spoken about, you know, it doesn't matter if the bias of the day or, or the week or whatever, if it's in a, a downwards movement, you can still catch buyers depending on your trading style. If you are a day trader, a scalper, or whatever. So in a selling market, you can still buy up in a buying market. You can still, still sell down. So we know that the British pound Japanese yen was in a selling market. But again, you can buy those retracements up. So having your swing low and your swing high over here. You can see a nice retracement to the 62% area where you could have caught a nice little buy upwards. Okay, so that's a nice little buy upwards of 130 odd pips. When price got to the top here, okay, we could see that um, again, just little fair value gap being filled over there. But when price got to the top here, we could see the movement downwards. Okay, so with that movement downwards, the way you catch those pips or that movement is you get your swing high over there, you get your swing low over here and you can see, there we go. And you can see a nice little retracement going again to that 62% area, guys. So, you know, very nice area that you could have sold price and then you could have sold all the way down and then price did a nice little move up and down. So currently what we're looking at is down below okay and as you can see price is continuing and continuing downwards so we i would like to see obviously this low being broken for any continuation downwards but again we want to see retracement okay like i said on the um we looked at the daily time frame so there might be a nice little retracement area so i'm just going to make this a little bit longer obviously there's going to be this week um some movement in the market heading towards the end of the month okay so a lot of times price just you know will consolidate towards the end of the month but again we might see some retracement going upwards so if price breaks any of these two areas we are definitely going to react to that so um i'm not going to look at the cot reports i want you guys to go and go to my website go download the cot reports and then look at the british pound mm -hmm. and the japanese yen respectively so we're going to first of all or next currency pair we're going to be focusing on will be your british pound um usd dollar this one over here so we're going to start off on our daily time frame once again okay daily time frame top down analysis that's what we always do okay so again you could see this nice little break in structure right about there okay um i'm just going to highlight it over here okay there's that break that i was talking about and then what we're going to see is um, 
what we're going to see in price is okay we see a nice little swing high swing low retracing to the 62 percent area okay that's the area that we're looking at and if you are a day trader you would have caught this nice little sell downwards and look at that so that would have been a nice little you know look at that almost 800 to 900 pips downwards okay so nice little sell opportunity that you could have had on the daily time frame going down to your four hour time frame what we're going to look at um, just making it a little bit bigger okay because there's always opportunities be it on a daily time frame be it on a four hour time frame one hour there will always be opportunities guys okay so over here you can see a nice little the structure being broken over there so that was a nice little low you can see that structure being broken price retracing back again so i'm just going to highlight this over here so that's your swing high to your swing low okay so again price going into that area and if you zoom in a little bit price just fell short of that 62 percent but i'm just going to take this out when price broke that structure it left a fair value gap in the market there you go and look at how that fair value gap was filled and that is where you take your sell opportunity going downwards okay so there's always two you know look at your fair value gaps look at your um, fibonacci use those two methods of trading and you will succeed in your trading career hourly time frame I'm just going to take this out this is now what we just used on four hour so zooming out hourly time frame this is our previous analysis that we ended on okay so price um, basically was just consolidating in that little area then broke that area then um, just tapping into that liquidity and then started falling downwards okay so where is your opportunity for entry okay opportunity for entry would have been right there i'm just gonna have a look here so we had a nice little there you go okay right about there okay so you had a swing high price going down coming up coming down swing low this is my swing low over here then price going up again into that 62 percent area and again if you just pull it to the side you can see that area being tapped multiple times so you can actual fact have that swing low over there so you can see that 62 percent area being tapped multiple times and then price going downwards okay if you did miss that entry again you go down zoom in a little bit and with this break in structure over here you can see a little bit of consolidation happening okay when price came there you had a nice little break area in this market so price consolidating there breaking that structure creating another fair value gap fair value gap that was filled and then price continuing downwards now what we're looking at we're going down again because again um, just zooming out we're looking at uh, two areas in the market we're going to be focusing on this one over here and then we're going to be focusing on this high so again price i want to see price um, breaking those two areas in the market and let's have a look and see what happens um cot report wise we're looking at the british pound so a lot of shorts being closed in the market a little bit of longs but more shorts so price just in that consolidation area in the market or consolidation phase so i'm pretty sure that price is going to start making a retracement back so we might look at some buy opportunities coming your way so guys that's all from my side for this um video and this analysis i hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button the notification bell there's definitely more videos coming your way so guys i hope you're staying safe and happy trading guys yeah.